Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Haste Hobby's Cthulhu Death May Die painting series. Today we will be painting the Thonian, using the Kickstarter page paint job as a reference. Let's begin! What strikes me most about this paint scheme is the creature appears to be lit from below with a green light. I'll be aiming to achieve something like this effect. After Zenithly priming in grays and whites, I'm using contrast black on all the main bulk of the figure. When that is completely dry, I'm using an opaque white and heavily dry brushing the figure all over. This is going to provide us with bright edges for our greens and beiges later on. For the green glow from below, I'll be using the most neon green in the contrast line, that is Warp Lightning. And for the more tan upper highlights, I'm using Skeleton Horde, or Seraphim Sepia. I'm liberally applying the green to the underside of each of these snake-like tentacles, and the tan to the top side. I'm doing a bit of blending in the middle. The dry brushing we did before is allowing us to quickly lay down the colors on the edges of the spines, and the overflow of the color onto the black areas helps suggest a green light source. I was surprised with the effect these simple steps created. After all that dries, it's time to clean up any messes we made with the black contrast paint. It's difficult to reach all the surfaces on this figure as it twists and turns and wraps around itself. That complexity resulted in some messy black paint application. Anyway, I'm cleaning all that up in preparation for the fleshy color that goes on the rest of the tentacles. The central tongues are getting a coat of Contrast Blood Angels Red. The remainder of the tentacles will be covered in a mixture of Contrast Orange and Contrast Gulaman Flesh. As those tentacles in the reference photo were kind of... As the tentacles in the reference photo were not quite flesh colored, but they weren't quite bright orange either. It's nearly finished. I'm using some bright ivory to pick out the details on the four central tongues and to pick out the claw-like features at the base of the creature. Finally, I'm just painting the base black. And with that, the Thonian is complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. You'll find a list of the products I used in the description of the video below. Tune in again soon as we continue painting minis from Cthulhu Death May Die.